If it looks like I had a long day, it's because I had a long day. It wasn't bad or anything, but I had a long day, guys. But it did not help that I woke up this morning and watched one of the worst Iran performances in the last five years. One of the worst 90 minutes I've seen from Team Milli in a very long time. Holy crap. That was bad. I know the game. The game is now. The game happened 12 hours ago. I couldn't film a video because I was out all day. But this game was so fucking trash. <laughs> First of all, I don't know what the lineup is. Why are we playing Cheshmi in midfield? Why are we playing Moran Lu? How do you say Moran Shahriar? Shahriar Khan. We'll call him Shahriar Khan because I know Moran Mo, Moran Lu. I, I don't know how to say it. It's in English. I don't know how to say it in the English way, but Shahriar, Shahriar, Shahriar Khan. Shahriar. What the fuck are you doing? Who is that? I know you play for Sepak. Who the fuck is that? You're starting and taking away time, game time, from my star boy, Sadar Azmoon? Get out of here. Get deported. Never wear the... He was so bad. Tarami was bad. <laughs> And the defense, man, you know, let's be real. Hong Kong, I know people will talk about Hong Kong had chances. Hong Kong could have won this game or Hong Kong could have scored first. But let's be real. Hong Kong's chances all were created because of how bozo and crap the back line was. Hosseini, Kandani, even Rezaian. Mohamedi was all right. I feel like out of the back line, Mohamedi made the least mistakes. But Hosseini, Kandani, Rezaian. Making so many stupid decisions consistently. Cheshmi also sometimes making this is <laughs> sometimes Cheshmi making stupid passes, making us lose the ball in our own final third and putting us in dangerous positions. I mean, it's just and it seemed like they weren't even listening to the coach. Like, are we not listening to the coach at this time at this point? Like, what is going on? Galinoy was saying, Boland Nazan, Boland Nazan. I heard it with my own ears. Shout out Darren if you're watching. He heard it. He said, he was screaming, Boland Nazan. How many times was he like this the whole game? Screaming. But each time, Rezaion, Kanani, Hosseini, Cheshmi, making stupid attempts at long balls. When Galinoy is saying, no, no long balls. Let's pass. And then again, when we try to pass, this Iran team could not string together five passes together. I'll give us credit. The only positive from Iran's game today is first, the only positive from Iran's game today is Gayadi. Two goals now, one goal in each game. But the only positive as a team is that counterattacking, we looked good. When we defended, actually, not like idiots, defended well and counterattacked, we looked we looked dangerous, right? We look good. But when we try to actually play with the ball, keep possession, string together three, four passes in the attacking part of the field, in Hong Kong's final third, misplaced pass, bad touch, too slow, clumsy, cl tripping over ourselves, clumsy pass, sloppy, sloppy. Now, I was high. I was very happy after the Palestine game. And I thought, okay, maybe we could win. Before Iran played this game, Japan lost to Iraq 2 1. 2 1. And I'm like, oh my God, we got to go smash Hong Kong right now. And we're going to look like the favorites next to South Korea and Japan 100%. And they go out. I mean, come on, man. I never want to see this Mogana Lu guy, Shahriar Khan, Shahriar Khan. I never want to see Shahriar Khan, Shahriar Khan ever play a game for Team Melly ever again. No, no, no. Galinoy, play. Like, can someone let me know in the comments why Asmund didn't play? I need to know why Sardar didn't play. Why? Jahan Bash was all right, but I'm really disappointed in Tarami so far in this tournament. Really disappointed, but just no. This was not it. Like, this has made me so scared for Iran's chances. And the fact that I don't think, you know, games like this make me think Iran will not win the, this Asian Cup. No. Games like this makes me think, no, Iran has no chance. And 
I think a lot of you guys would agree. When I'm telling you guys, like, now that Japan has lost, guys, Japan has lost. So here's where the situation gets worse for Iran. Say we go and beat UAE. We do our part in the, we do our job. We get first in the group, nine out of nine points, right? Those idiots, Japan, have gone and lost to Iraq. They could get second place. If Japan gets second place and Korea, South Korea gets first place, which they probably will, on one side of the bracket, we're going to have Iran, Uzbekistan, Japan, and South Korea. Japan and South Korea would play each other in round of 16. And then if they win and Iran wins, one of the we, Iran would either play South Korea or Japan. It's just unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. I, I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I think Galanoy was maybe resting some players, maybe trying something new. And luckily for him, we still won. I mean, we don't, don't get me wrong. We missed some chances in the game. We could have had three, maybe four goals. Don't 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 get me wrong. But none of you guys watching can disagree with me here. This was a shit performance. It was bad. It was really bad. And if Iran wants to show us fans that they're serious, if Team Mainly wants to show us that they're serious to win this tournament, Tarami, I want a goal next game. Osmond, I want to see you start, and I want to see Osmond score. I want to see four goals past UAE. I want a 4-0, 4-1 demolishment of UAE. I want the UAE to question whether they should ever step on a football pitch ever fucking again. I want Godos. You know, Godos was probably the only player on the field today with Gaidi and Mohamedi that played good. Godos, I want you to play like Iniesta against UAE. Okay? Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? Gaidi, I want you to play like Neymar. I want you to destroy UAE. Send them back to their home. Send them back to their home, back to their wife and kids. Send them back to their families in tears. We need to win 5 6 0, 4 5 6 goals next game against UAE. 4 5 6 goals, or else I'm done. I, I'm not going to sit here and tell you you're on our favorites because we'll just end up losing. I want 5 4 5 6 goals against UAE. Give me. Taught me, I need you to play good. Asmund, I need you to start and play good. Gaiadi, start again and play. Jaham Baksh, that's her strongest attack. Godos and Ezatulai, no more Ruzbe Cheshmi. No more uh, Ruzbe Cheshmi, respect. You scored that goal against Wales, respect to you, Ruzbe Cheshmi. But now you could uh, kindly uh, fuck off, Mr. Ruzbe Cheshmi. Kindly fuck off. Ezatulai, you play with Godos. And we're money. We're money. Four, five, six goals against UAE. Four, five, six goals against UAE. That's what I need. I wish I had more to say. It's been 12 hours since the game. I remember 12 hours ago after the game, I had a lot of things to say, but I've calmed down after 12 hours. A day of work, a day I had a test today, but needs to be better. It needs to be better. No more resting players, Godanoi. No more resting players. Play your fucking strongest team every freaking game. Because this isn't some 30-game tournament. It's seven. Seven games. I hate when people say, oh, no, we, we need to rest players during the international tournament. No, we don't, you fucking idiots. It's a seven-game tournament. Seven games. It's not a 38-game Premier League season or whatever. Seven games for your fucking country, for Team Melly. You can't get through a little bit of tiredness for your country? Miss me with that bullshit. Miss me with that bullshit. Four, five, four to six goals against UAE. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to see. That's what I want. That's what I expect. And every one of you watching this, you should expect no less. You should demand Team Melly to go out there and smash UAE and send them back into the locker room in tears. I want them to question if they're even good footballers. I want them to question if they should ever play football again. I want them to question that. And that will require every one of these bums to show up 
and play to your absolute best. Play for the badge. Play like Rezion does for Iran. I know Rezion, he played today with a passion, but he played with no brain today. And that's why Rezion was so annoying today. But play with the same passion Rezion does. Come on. It's possible. Four to six goals against UAE. Let me know in the comments what you think. I need to go to bed. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Peace.